Well, it's time to bring it on with your email questions, and we're going to start with Phyllis. She says, please help me. My daughter is having a hard time at her job. She seems to have this dark cloud over her head. She has told me, Mom, life is so hard. I told her to pray. This morning was really hard. She told me that she didn't think God was hearing her prayers. This just broke my heart. Can you tell me what to say to her, Pat? Uh, well, I don't know your daughter, but I would say it sounds like it's some kind of uh, demonic presence. You know, a dark cloud has come over her, and I, I don't think it's just normal depression. So uh, I would pray, and the prayer is very simple. Satan, I bind you and the forces of evil, and I command you to leave my daughter. And that's not what you say to her. That's what you say to that, that cloud that is over her. She needs to be free. I mean, you, you start the day out, the day should be joyous. This is the day the Lord hath made. Now, let, me, let us rejoice and be glad in it. And while you're praying that prayer, teach your daughter to wake up in the morning and start praising God. The first thing you say is, this is the day the Lord hath made. I, let us rejoice and be glad in it. And I praise you, Lord, for the beauty of this day. I praise you for the good things you're going to do for me. And let her expect joy instead of a, a, a disaster. She's obviously expecting something else, but break the hold of Satan o o over that d girl, that, that, that cloud that's over her, mm. all right? Amen. All right, Scott says, Pat, 90% of the time <laughs> I agree with you, except when you tell people that you don't have to be baptized to get into heaven. Jesus said something different in John 3, 5. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Well, I tell you what, uh, the Apostle Paul said very clearly, and you might not agree with him either, but anyhow, he said, God did not call me to baptize, but to preach the gospel. Now, if baptism was all that important for salvation, surely the Apostle Paul would have thought, now, he, he did baptize, and he said, I baptize these people. Okay. It is an act of obedience. When Jesus was talking to um, Nicodemus about water and the Spirit, you know, when a woman is getting ready to give birth, there's something called the waters break, and there, there is water involved in, in the birth experience. Mm -hmm. So to say, you know, we, that means baptism, we don't know it that means any such thing. So. Thank you for agreeing with me 90 percent, and I hope I can win you the other day. <laughs> All right, what else? Yeah. Good question. All right, um, Pat, this is a question here. What is the difference between regular corn syrup and high fructose corn syrup? Uh, Sheila wants to know that. You know, I, Sheila, I don't have the precise chemical uh, makeup, but the high fructose has a different, different chemical composition than just plain old corn syrup. Uh, and, and it's the high fructose that, that leads to uh, cravings and it leads it's so many people are getting fat because we put that stuff in all the food. Mm. And uh, it is causing, it's part of the cause of this episode, uh, epidemic of obesity. Well, we leave you with today's Power Minute from Proverbs 22. By humility and the fear of the Lord are riches and honor and life. For Wendy and all of us, this is Pat Robertson and Lord willing, the 700 Club will be with you tomorrow. You don't want to miss one minute of it. Until then, may the Lord bless you. Bye-bye.